guys! Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and if you're not, then welcome back! Today I have decided that I will be doing a cool toned makeup look. I'm going to be using all drugstore products again, so it is quite an affordable look. And because the last look I did was a warm toned look that will be going up on my channel tomorrow, I decided that a cool toned look would be nice to uh, mix things up a little bit. And if you want to see how the look turns out then, just keep watching. Today I'm going to be using the Dermacol Makeup Cover Foundation in the shade 208. Um, mine um, I have had for quite a while now, so it looks kind of beaten up a bit. Um, I will insert some pictures so you actually know what the packaging looks like when it is new and not so beaten up like mine. This is a full, full coverage foundation. It is probably not the best foundation for people with oily skin because it is not a matte or mattifying foundation, but it has great coverage and I find if you powder it afterwards, um, it is fine. So today I'm going to be applying the foundation as always with um, my Essence Makeup Buffer Brush. And then I will blend everything out with my beauty sponge. So as you can see, I have only applied a very little bit amount and already you can see the absolute full coverage. So if you're going for a full coverage look, then this is definitely the foundation for you. Now I'm going to go over everything with my trusty makeup sponge. As always, the next step will be eyebrows. As usual, I'm going to be using my NYX eyebrow pencil in the color Auburn. I'm just going to run this through my brows and then use a clear um, brow gel afterwards to set them in place. Okay, next step. Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I'm going to use this to just set the brows in place. Next step for me is eyeshadow and I will be using the Essence 2-in-1 Eyeshadow and Primer Long Lasting Brightening and Flawless Finish in the shade 02 Nude Rose. I will be applying this all over the eyelid and just blending it out. This is a very cool toned, rosy, light pink shade with no shimmer in it. I really love this um, eyeshadow color or eyeshadow base from Essence. It is really, really brightening and it is so inexpensive and it actually really does keep my eyeshadow on all day. Right, the eyes are primed. I just recently bought myself a new eyeshadow palette. It is from Revolution and it is called the Revolution Reloaded Iconic 3.0 palette and it looks like this. So it has a bunch of cool toned colors in here. You have some shimmery shades and you have some matte shades, um, some glittery shades and they're nice cool tones. You've got some cream, some like rosy colors and then some like mauve colors, even into kind of like a more mauveish purplish color. For today's look, I will be starting out with the lightest shade in the palette. It is a cream color and has no shimmer. I will be applying it to the mobile eyelid all the way up to the brow bone just using a fluffy blending brush. So this shade. Ooh, it's actually very pigmented. Wow, I'm quite surprised. A lot of the times the very light colors aren't that pigmented, so that's really good. Okay, the next shade I will be using, I will be using as a transition color. And I think I'm going to go for another matte shade. I'm going to go for, well, I think it's like you could say it was the second lightest one in the palette. Mm. 
So I am just applying this shade in and slightly above the crease. So that is actually a really nice cool tone trans transition color. It is um, not too dark so it just blends everything out really seamlessly. Okay so now I'm going to go in with um, another matte shade. It is slightly darker than the shade that we just used and I will be applying this also directly into the crease and working it upwards a little bit but not too much just because um, I like the first shade we applied but um, I want something a little bit more darker for a little bit more definition and I will be using this color. Yeah, with this shade you can definitely see it is a little bit darker than the shade we used first but it's perfect because you get a really nice gradient from light to a bit darker in the crease and then a little bit lighter blending everything out. Next I want to darken everything up on the outer corners a little bit and I'm going to be using the, it's like a mauveish um, brownish purplish eyeshadow and it seems to have like a tiny little bit of micro shimmer in it or maybe like a satin finish and I will be using this on the outer corners of the eyes. I will be applying this darker shade with the Essence Smoky Eye Brush and I will be placing it just on the outer corners of the eyes. Wow, so also really, really good pigmentation. I just dipped into the eyeshadow um, really lightly with my eyeshadow brush and it picked up quite a lot. So I'm really, really pleased with this eyeshadow palette. So I am just placing the eyeshadow on the outer part of the eye and I would say I'm bringing it in about one third of the way. Okay, now that I have some good pigmentation there, I am going to be taking the blending brush that I used for the transition shades and just blend everything um, together a bit. When you blend ash. <clears throat> When you blend eyeshadows, you do often lose some of the pigmentation. Now, this doesn't bother me at all because I think it's good to gradually build up anyway. So now that I've lost a tiny little bit of pigmentation, I'm just going to go in again with the smaller pencil brush from Essence, the Smoky Eye one, and just reapply some more of the darker shade and then blend everything again. Well, I really like how that's looking. Um, so far this is a completely matte look and if you are going for a completely matte look you could just leave it here and that would be fine. But I think I would like to play around with at least one of these shimmer tones today. So I'm actually going to take this pink shimmery tone and also apply it to the middle of the mobile eyelid. So I'm really just applying this shimmery pink shade to the middle of the lid and now I'm going to blend everything in together. Right, that actually looks really nice and because I have blended everything um, in with each other um, we have no harsh edges going from light to the shimmery shade to the dark shade. Um, what I did realize is there has been a lot of fallout um, under the eye. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but this personally doesn't bother me. If it really did bother you or worry you when you were doing your makeup, you could also do your foundation after you do the eye makeup. But it doesn't bother me and these are really inexpensive eyeshadows. So I just simply brush them off with a powder brush after I'm done. Next I'm going to be applying mascara. And today is a first time for me. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Snapscara Mascara in the shade 01 Pitch Black. The wand looks like this. Ooh, 
boy. So as always, I make a huge mess when applying mascara, especially on my bottom lashes, but I never stress about it because I always do my concealer afterwards and I simply clean everything up with either concealer or makeup remover and a cotton bud. Right, I also applied some blush. Today I decided to go with a cooler tone and it is from the brand P2 Glow Touch Compact Blush in the shade 040 Touch of Rose. But like I said, um, like I always say, any cool tone blush will go with this look. You don't have to use this brand. Right, time to get rid of these bad boy black under eyes. Um, story of my life. But anyway, that is why the makeup industry invented concealer. So today I have decided that I will be using the Essence Waterproof Tattoo Covering Camouflage Matte Concealer. Wow. Um, we will see how this goes. It is in the shade 10 Light Rose and looks like this. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, it's the first time I'm using it, so no idea how it's going to hold up throughout the day. Um, usually every concealer creases on me a little bit. You know, um, I do have fine lines, etc. around my eyes, so it's not something that like really bothers me or whatever. I usually touch up in between anyway, but so far I used a very small amount and I really like the coverage. For highlight today, I'm going to be using the PS Ultra Glow Highlighter Powder in the shade Brunch Club. This is a brand from Primark. What do they always say? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. And if you're broke or can't afford diamonds, then highlighter, ladies. For lips today, I've decided to go with the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade MLS15 Whipped Caviar. It's a very nice cool toned mauveish color and really is completely matte. I really like the way this look turned out. I am very pleasantly surprised by the Revolution eyeshadow palette and it costs like under five euros, which is under five pounds and also I think under or around five dollars. So it's really inexpensive and they really, really seem to work well. So I hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you also enjoy, I'm trying to mix things up a little bit, doing some warmer looks, some cooler looks, some brighter looks, we'll see. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed filming this for you again, as usual. I love it. I'm so glad that you tune in every time you do tune in. If you wanna see more of me, I would love it if you could like my video and also subscribe. Um, and other than that, all I can say is, have a great evening and see you in my next video. Bye.